Shoot him in his face when we meet, think we squashing it. Ain't nobody ever did shit to me, I be popping it. If I'm buying it, I'm airing my bread, so we robbing it. Love to see my bitches on their knees, oh my god. He dissed me in his head, cause he died by what he said. This some shit that I can't speak on, so I had to cut my dress. Early in the morning, we in them V's, crack his head. I just beat my case, thinking that I should've played. Pretzels up that I made chips. I want a little extra, sent the profit with the flip. One time to be in love, I just pop in and I dip. Rolling over 60, yeah, rest in peace, nip. Blue face, baby, in my pockets on crib. I want on my dog, shoot this shit up, John Wick. We done play with everybody and they click, the niggas pussy. He done finally got back full of guys, he want cook. Promoters in the city think I'm hot, I'm telling book me. He keep talking bodies, man, I think this nigga fast. She keep telling me she love me, I just left her on red. Look who dumb on them drills, yeah, I call him special ad. Right, I'm 20 in the county, nigga. All special mans. I just bull. All right, um, so I'll do the introduction or anything on the video. We don't even need to do all that. Um, so we'll just get right into it. I think my first question, uh, where did you grow up? Where did you, yeah, where did you originally grow up at? All right, uh, no, um, I'm from, like, the, uh, the area, like, NSP projects, like, like, like 11 Fenaris in between, like, 10 Fenaris, like, over from, like, I would say, like, Burks. To like diamond like from that area that's why I, that's where I, I like was like 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 i was like living with my uncle and my two and my i call them my brothers but they my cousins for real but my two cousins i grew up with them um huddy and scooter and shit for my brothers and shit but um i wound up moving back with my mom i wound up moving back back with my mom uh, when I was like seven, that was on like the Strawberry Mansion section side, like 33rd and Cumberland, like over there. Area. Like I say, like, you know, I'm going to be like, they got two sides of where they grew up at. Like, yeah, mine was 11th Street and then 33rd and Cumberland, like over there. Okay. So, so you would say that most of the time was spent with mom growing up? Yeah. Like, like from like seven on up to like, like when I was like, I would say that was like, that was like my naive years. That was like my my virgin years. I wasn't really too into like nothing for her for her. Like from like seven all the way up to like fourteen prior. I say like I wasn't even like on those streets. Like I just was on some young boy. Like I was doing a little bad, but it wasn't nothing. Like I wasn't like no bad ass young boy. Like that was super drunk. Like one of them. Cause I came up with my mom, you feel me? And and like my my little sister's dad, like they like that was my step pop, you feel me? So I came up like with them both, like in my life. But you know, my, my you. pop passed away when I was a baby. So mm. my step pop like raised me up until the point where it was like, all right, I'm doing my own shit you now. For for like on that note. And w what age would you say that was? That was like, like oh that was that was from seven all the way up to like probably like like fourteen, fifteen. All right, so boom. All right. So 14, 15, that's high school years. What high school you go did you go to? Uh I was going to um Fitz Simons. I was going to Fitz Simons, but I wound up getting kicked out. And I yep. got sent to like uh I got sent to Boom. I was going to Boom. That was a joint in South Philly? No, Boom was like on like 26 in Jefferson, like Daniel Boom. What's the joint I'm thinking of in South Philly where they used to send all the little bad kids? Oh, R and Reed. That's the joint I'm thinking of. Or maybe that's yeah, not where they sent them, but I just I just remember that being a bad school, but uh, you know, when I was coming up. But I'm a little bit older than you, so she probably changed a little bit, you know what I mean? All right, so boom, you got kicked out of Fitzsimons and then you got sent to Boone, right? Right. And and this jump. Right. Is that so but but that's a off uh what's what's the word? Like you go home and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go home, yeah, every day, yeah. Yeah, so, but it's, it's just a it's just a disciplinary or a disciplinary high school, like, where all the, everybody that got kicked out of school, they sent them there, right? Yeah, they sent them there, yeah. All right, so you amongst the, uh, <laughs> you amongst, how do, how do I describe, how would you describe it, the kids that went there? Like, they were, motherfuckers was calling us delinquents and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, we was like, we was bad at kids. That's what they were saying in there. But that shit wasn't even, I don't really feel like nobody really was in there bad. Motherfuckers just had, like, different situations at home. A little misguided, dope. maybe, and shit. Yeah, facts, facts. Didn't have really, uh, well, so, 
speaking, I was about to say didn't have a role model. Speaking of role models, like, would, would um, did you have many? Did you have positive influences uh, like through through these years, like twelve, like twelve through sixteen? I would say. Did you have like an old head that that was kind of mentoring you, or was it like? Mm-hmm. Me, go ahead. That's crazy because that's that's like I never like I I, I ain't never had like old heads. I say like I had kids that was older than me that was around me, and I I would just had to like decipher like like who to be like who 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 was who was doing smart who was being smart who. Who was like the ones for for it wasn't really like no I ain't really had no old heads like I ain't never looked up and called nobody no old head but none of that shit especially if they wasn't like because I feel like all the old heads really be like manipulating that old heads that just be like wanting to put batteries in young niggas backs that take like they they make you feel like like damn I'm taking care of you young and like you gotta like do what I like I don't be with that shit I be what? on my like. Yeah, well, that's the criticism that pe- that's the criticism that people your age is getting about the young boys now, right? Not the fathers, like the fathers ain't getting the well, uh, yeah, the fathers who are probably in their late thirties, forties, you know, they're not getting the blame. It's the the guys that's twenty five through thirty that's getting the blame because you know, supposedly it's 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 is that is that kind of age range that's putting the battery packs in the young boys now, right? Do you see do you see a lot of that? No, not really. I Cause I don't be putting it. I don't like like the young niggas. I be like, like young niggas from my block, like like from both sides. Like I can say this, like with all honesty, like they be on all chill. Shit. Like they don't be like the young niggas on my side. Like from Levin Street, they play sports. They 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 into like school, all that type shit. And they ain't they ain't with none of that gun shit. Like. Like I even play around sometimes, like, huh, look, look, let's 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 go on a drill. And they be like, I ain't with that shit, big bro. Like, I ain't on that, you feel me? And I respect that, you feel me? Like, I respect that. And it's on like even on like 33rd Street side, like uh, a lot of them young niggas be on that too. Like, they don't be with none of the like none, they be trying to have fun party for the little bitches and all that. But yeah, I don't really I don't see like too many like niggas like my age and shit like that. Like I don't I ain't gonna speak for like niggas that's 30 and none of that, but I know me, like my age bracket, like my homies, I don't never see like them niggas putting batteries in their backs and all that, you feel me? Yeah. Cause so, I don't be with that. I don't I don't be with that. Yeah, I, I'm not one of them people that put the blame on y'all, by the way. When I say y'all, I mean your age, uh your generation. I I do generation by like 10 years. I some people say generations go by 20, 30 years. I think generations are separated by like you know, there's overlap and shit, of course, but I separate them by like 10 or 15 years, let's say. So I consider myself a different generation than you because when I was a teenager, it was the 90s. When you was a teenager, it was like probably the 2000, like the early 2000s, mid 2000s, late 2000s, or maybe it was the 2010s, whatever the age. But no, my, I was my, I was a teenager in the early 2000s. You was the 2010s and shit. But so basically what I'm trying to say is like I went... Over the last 20 years, there's been a massive shift in mentality of, uh, like, I guess, street politics, I guess you would call it. But, like, it's, it's definitely been a mental a shift on the streets of where, like, more now, nowadays, it seems like a lot more is uh, acceptable or a lot more is, is, is um, like, not disapproved of, I would say. So, like, make a long story short. Like what? What do you see as the main problem with the violence? Because you know, twenty twenty one was record year murders, right? Uh, record year of kids under eighteen getting killed in the history of the city, right? So obviously, it's been like a, something's changed. What? What do you see as the main is the main like uh, driving factor in that? Um, that well, that's like with the violence. That's just be like, like, like I think everybody got like a this is different perspective on like was what violence and shit is because like like when i was a young like i was going like like when we was be getting violent and shit like that like it was like for like a reason like it was like a purpose it was a purpose like like that like even with young is now who i be talking to like i be telling like i be i be like like i don't really be trying to get into like no nah, young you gotta do the right thing and shit like that like i always Telling like the right thing to do for sure. I'm never gonna tell them the wrong thing to do because that's what I wouldn't want you to tell me that. But that should be more so like, 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 like niggas be on the new like, 
Like, I feel like with that shit, let me see what I'm trying to say. Like, with the violence tip, like, that should be like, oh, what you wanted for, 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 like, like I said, like, me, I was coming up on the, because, like, we was doing shit because we had a purpose. Like, I ain't going to, I ain't going to say, like, my homie getting killed was, is a real purpose for us to be violent, but that was our thing. Like, we only getting violent because we getting back for our homies. Like, nowadays, the new, the new, the new young boys, like, the the dinner because I I'm think I think I'm 96 so with that with, with, with that Generation Z I think the new young like like they doing that shit just for cool points you feel me like to be violent and that shit ain't that you feel me like I never like wanted to be on no violence shit, just just to be like like yeah because I'm because I'm because I'm because I'm yeah I'm I'm trying to get some cool points I want you to know my name you feel mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. like with with violence like your name gonna come. Like eventually, because motherfuckers are gonna be hearing about what's going on in the hood and all that. Shit. You feel me? But niggas really be doing that shit just to be cool, or they feel like it's cool. Some niggas even use music for an excuse, like, "Oh yeah, the the music making these is violence," and they ain't even the case because I love music. I listen to anything just because I'm listening to motherfucking uh uh, uh them Chicago niggas all day. They ain't about to make me oh yeah come out and go blicking block down i ain't on that that's dumb shit, you feel me that's foolery yeah, bro. i ain't on that i listen i listen to, i listen to this music uh, not to cut you off i'll let you finish one second. i'm sorry I, I, i'm very forgetful so i'm gonna forget this but i listen to this music every day for my you know for my job for my youtube channel and shit. so i could rap lyrics of you know all y'all niggas, right like you mean but and even growing up, I listen. I listen to you know the DMX and Jay Z, Biggie, you know all that type of rap. Shit, you know what I mean? But never has it changed my mindset about life, right? Never has it cha- changed my outlook about like how how I treat people or how you know uh, um, basically uh, if it's gonna make me kill somebody or not. So I don't I, I don't vibe with that excuse that oh it's the music making people violence. I don't I don't like that. Yeah, I don't I don't like that because it's it's millions of people that listen to. Drill rap or whatever you want to call yeah, it every day don't, that don't you mean they don't kill people or do nothing out there. It's it's really your environment, it's your circumstances. So if if you can remember, you can go ahead and finish your thought. I'm sorry for cutting you off. That was rude. No, no, you cool. They, that, but that's that's what I was hitting on for real. Basically, like that should be like be using that excuse. Oh yeah, I'm getting I'm on this because music and not no that's what the older people would say like yeah they on that because of that music that's not even the well that's a simple yeah that's a simple excuse that's a simple answer that's a way to not talk about yeah, all like the that. other shit that you know put that provides these circumstances that would have you know Sorry. yeah Fact, so i feel like i wasn't always like the super the super duper street i wasn't on that that shit was like because it was a purpose mm-hmm. like it was a purpose Motherfuckers thought like I was always taught like never let it do nothing to me. My mom always told me that like yo don't let never I don't know who they is. You never be scared of a nigga. No, if they do something to you, you do something to them back. You feel me? Like, and I grew up on that. Like I grew up on that, but it wasn't like until like I got introduced into like like oh all right like this is this is a different ball game. I'm this is older than me that's going at me in different type on on different angles. Whether than like if it's like throwing hands. You feel me? So it's like. Most well, like, yeah, no. That's, speak, that's, speaking of that, uh, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you're aware. There's a documentary on YouTube about you that, uh, you know, describes wow. pretty much <laughs> that describes your life, uh, pretty much in the way you just said it. Uh, I think, I think he said, uh, I think he said that you you were a good kid. No, he didn't say a good kid. He said you, uh, you weren't. You know, you weren't. He was basically saying that you weren't into much. You were, uh, you were a mischievous kid but then things changed you know as circumstances in your life changed that's how he he, he really described it now are you familiar with that documentary yeah we start the war with big ops he got his fry. crazy bill there was a kid known to many as crazy bill but i knew him as bill from 34th street growing up he didn't have a prominent reputation he was just an ordinary kid mischievous at times but not involved in any street activities. It wasn't until he reached 11th Street, in our neighborhood that his name began to hold some weight. However, it was on 33rd Street that Bill really made his mark, surrounded by individuals like Sultan, Mir, Reek, known as Reek the Mouse, Juice, DJ New Bill, and Salim. 
Those guys hailed from 33rd and Cumberland, and they had their ongoing disputes and conflicts. Bill had nothing to do with their wars until one fateful day. After finishing his practice, Bill headed home, taking his usual route. That's when he encountered trouble. A group from the neighboring block, known as Murderwood Street, robbed Bill. It was a well-known fact in the area that Rat Bay Bay and his gang were from Murderwood. Later that night, the guys from 33rd Street paid a visit to Bill's house to check on him. He was like their little brother at the time, and they were concerned about his well-being. At that time, Bill was still a civilian, not involved in the street life. Their gesture of care and support meant a lot to him, considering his history and the person he used to be. Bill, feeling a mix of emotions, decided he needed to retaliate. Together with his friend, Leem, they found themselves in a basement, toying around with firearms. They received a tip about the whereabouts of the individuals who had robbed Bill earlier. With a burning desire for retribution, Bill set out on foot, as the two neighborhoods weren't too far apart. Upon reaching his destination, Bill unleashed his anger on those responsible. He let them have it, in a display of strength and determination. It was a turning point for Bill, as he began to transform into the person people now know him as today. And that, my friends, is the story of how Bill went from being an ordinary kid to earning the reputation of Crazy Bill from 34th Street, all because of a chain of events that shaped his path and led him down a different road. Yeah, I seen that, John. I seen that documentary on YouTube. I was cracking up when I seen that shit. So, it's so crazy. Like, the documentary was so, like, that's, and it was so, like, I ain't even gonna say that it was aggregate because it was inaccurate, but, like, certain situations, like, Motherfuckers was thinking that shit was me, and I was wondering like, what, bro? Like, why? Like, this is this this is this is incriminating. Shit. Why would the fuck I like? You feel what I'm saying? But oh, I, I did that, see that in the what? comment. Like, yo, crazy Bill, why you write a story about yourself? I did see. <laughs> if that's what you talk about, yeah, I seen like, that. Yeah, no <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so on the on the man, scale of zero, that's go ahead. That shit was like that. Shit don't be like that. Shit, I don't. All right, so what would you give it from 0 to 100 in accuracy rating? 0 to 100. That shit was like a 3. <laughs> that shit was like a 3. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, here, here. I I, 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 I will say this. Go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead, go ahead. I said I will say this. Even if it was 100% accurate, I honestly wouldn't expect you to, to, to you know, come out and be like, yeah, that joint was true. Because, that, that, you know. But... I do know that some of these uh, documentaries, not this one, I'm not talking about this one in particular, but there are a lot of uh, documentaries that will lead you to think that somebody uh, has, has done something or maybe have been involved in something that's really, you know, they might have been part of it or been this person, but they got the wrong person here. You know, so it's not always 100 percent accurate and people do need to understand that about these uh, documentaries out there. But uh, yeah, any other thoughts on it before we move on? Yeah, that's believe what what they say. Believe half of what you hear and everything what you see, man. Yeah, Ain't yes. Nobody that shit. Believe Ain't nobody. <laughs> yes. <You feel me? laughs> no, real, real rap though. I, I feel you one hundred percent. Um, all right. So we 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 at like boom basically. Um, now, as I'm led to understand, there was maybe a, a, a incident of you getting arrested at school. Or you want to talk about that? Oh, uh, with that situation, uh, I was going to school, and it's so crazy. Like this was like that's like I wouldn't even say like it was ops at the time, but it was I was going to school and they ain't like me. So, like, uh, and it was so crazy. It was a situation where I was just sitting in class. Some little buddy that liked me, she came to me like, "Yo, these boys talking about." Talk, Cause I was like a little fly, a little young boy. I was coming to school like with like the Pradas and shit on, like that type of shit. So you know, niggas was hating. Uh, some little buddy told me like, yeah, these trying to do something. They trying, they trying to do this and that. Like, um, like hun, and I it's so crazy around this time. This this one you know, like I was a kid, cause I ain't even have a phone. You feel me? I ain't even have a phone at the time. 
she gave me her phone. Was like, listen, just go home. I'm gonna come to wherever you at at the end of the day and just get my phone back. But I just want you to be safe. I wound up calling my homie, like, yo, come grab me from school and shit like that. My like my big bro, my man took he he locked up right now and shit. But he wound up coming and get me, and 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 um. Uh, like that same night, no bullshit. I wound up buying like a little, little. I had that shit. That shit was like a, like a, like a. Uh, that shit was like a, a deuce deuce. It was like a, a, a like a revolver, nine shot revolver. So I was on the new like, man, I'm taking this joint to school. I ain't, I ain't had plans on like doing that with that joint, but it was on the new like, like yeah, like what nigga, I'm coming to school with this joint. Like I'll bust one of y'all heads, y'all try to play with me like in this joint. But that was my intentions. Like that's why I was bringing it to school, but. I wasn't on that at that time. You feel me? It just was like, like, I ain't even going to say that because you never know when the situation to go down. But I just was on that. Like, yeah, I'm taking my burner to school. Like, like this is my protection. You feel me? I, and then I, I, um, one day, what the fuck happened? I always, I always, I was cool with the security guard at that job. That, uh, he used to, he know, he know me like from the streets. And shit. So he used to be like, yeah, I mean, like, go ahead, like walk around a metal detective. I'm going to act like I ain't see you. I used to always walk around, I'd be in class with my joint on me. And then one specific day, I, I decide like not to do it. I left it in the locker. But it was like rumors going around to like the deans and all that shit. They was like, I, somebody was telling like, yeah, he got a gun or some shit like that. I come into school one day, I asked the dean like they in colleague early. He was like, no, he was like, no, like you can just go to class, stay your whole day. I go to class, I wind up falling asleep in class. Next thing you know, he come in the classroom like, yo, you want to leave early? No bullshit. Something struck me like they found that John because he not one of them type. He wasn't one of them type of old heads. He was like yeah. super strict and all that. You feel me? Mm. So it already hit me. But that school, it was like one way in and one way out. You couldn't even like go nowhere. So I just walked outside the hallway. I wound up seeing a cop in the hallway, but the cop wasn't even paying me no mind. So I I, I like double thought it like, oh, they ain't worried about me. Then I get to the end of the hallway where the log is at. I wound up seeing him on the, in, in the locker and shit. I got locked up for that job. I got locked up. Uh, I got locked up. I'm thinking at the time, this is my first time getting locked up. I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, I'm about to go do like five years for this. But the whole time, that was a little placement bit. I wound up going up like Glen Mills for like okay. a year. That was like 2012. That was like, I was sitting in a little juvenile facility for like two months. Then I wound up going up uh, uh, Glen Mills like February. Uh, like 2013 and I was, I was there for like a whole year like a whole like 14 months prior so she was like you was like 16 17 at this time yeah i was 16 i was 16 at the time when this happened okay yeah, exactly yeah i just i just did a documentary about a boy who shot at in school by accident and got sent to glen mills yeah yep yep um so yeah uh i, I guess that's 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 protocol <laughs> protocol i mean listen they don't want to they don't want to ruin your life like send you to like sending you to jail for that i think probably would have institutionalized you like on some real shit or maybe not you particularly but like if you just take 100 people with that type of situation and send 100 of them to uh to jail for five years i think probably like 70 to 80 percent of them bulls would be in institutionalized so that probably like was the best thing for you i think do, do you look at that situation like you know that was um fair punishment not punishment but uh fair um like fair whatever uh consequences like, yeah, like I, I, did it help you did this did it help set you on the right track that's what i'm trying to say i felt like it did for like the moment like i mm -hmm. felt like for like that moment or yeah because it could have got crazy like if you at the point where you keep carrying a gun to school like your, your life might spin out of control at that at that time right Cause no, like, no, say somebody exactly. did try to do something to you, you you probably would have killed somebody, right? Right, 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 right. Exactly. You know what I mean, then we be we be having a whole different conversation right now. Right, no bullshit, no bullshit. But so, yeah, I feel like ahead. it was fair. Punishment. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, if you if you think about it like that, yeah, that was that was fair punishment for me. That was definitely fair punishment for me, for sure. But then I came home like fourteen months. I did. I was home like two months, and I wound up catching a robbery. Like, this was my first adult case now, like, because I, I was 18 when I came home. Mm -hmm. So it was like a little robbery. Me and one of my homies there from my block, his name, uh, 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 um, Glizzy, I ain't going to go into detail about this, but we wound up beating that case. We wound up beating the case. They offered, they offered us like a 10 to 20. 
But we, we wound up beating it because the cops had like lied about some shit. But I ain't, I'm still ain't gonna go into detail about it. But yeah, yeah, because, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and bleep his uh, name out. Don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, uh, that shit. Matter of fact, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. They see that shit out with uh with prejudice, like with, without prejudice, whatever that. Well, it's it's uh I think they couldn't open it back up, so I can't talk about this shit. Matter of fact, I can't talk about it. I'm lying. I'm lying. Me and my homie, me and my homie, um, we did some little cool. Shit. We did some cool shit to a. We ain't even really like do all the shit that they lied about. We just took some took some shit off and for real, for real, basically. But and they, like dressed it up. We wound up getting locked up for this. Shit. But it was like it was like uh 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 technicalities that the cops made that that got us off for real for real. But the, but it's so crazy. We wound up beating it in the county because it never came to court. You feel me? Because he knew he did some. So uh um, um we we wound up beating it. But I still was on juvenile pr- probation. My homie was home. I had to go to the youth. So I was in the youth for like two weeks, but my juvenile judge wound up putting me on house arrest. You feel me? Until the outcome of the case. So they, no, she she just put me on house arrest. She just was going to put me on house arrest. And the midst of me being on house arrest, they opened the case back up, right? So we Wait, went to hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. How did they dismiss the case, but you still on house arrest? How did that, how did that work out? Maybe I missed something. How did, how does that happen? No, no, I was, I was still on juvenile probation. Oh, right, right. You, you did know? say that. My fault, my fault. Okay, was, go ahead. I still yep. was on juvenile, ju- juvenile probation. So my judge just put me on a band. You feel me? And she just was going to give me like, she just was going to keep me on the band probably until like, I don't know when, but in the midst of her had me being on house arrest, they opened the case back up. So they was trying to request for us to get locked back up, but some shit happened where they ain't come to court again some more. Then the last court day, they wound up getting him. He was like, I ain't, I ain't telling on them young boys. Some shit, some cool shit. Uh, but boy, so he did file the police report, but then he just didn't yeah, follow through. Like he filed the police report, but that's that's him saying like, I ain't telling on them. That shit ain't even matter because it was already a statement. So they use the cops. Uh, they use the cops as witnesses. In a statement, so we was like basically we the judge is, uh excluded him like she she was like yeah I don't want to hear nothing about him I want to hear what the cops uh seen when they came and arrived on the scene uh about this guy saying he got locked uh robbed by these two men so the cops was like oh uh, when we arrived on the scene it was a it was a it was a group of young men about ten a pro- uh about ten about ten young men surrounded like like sitting on a car and all that. So she was like, all right, keep going. And she was like, wait, wait, wait. Then the uh, suspects say, I mean, she said, then the victims say the suspects uh, robbed him. They were on bikes. She was, the, the cop was like, yeah. So she was like, what do a car has anything to do with it? Feel me? Cause mm-hmm. they wanted to find it. Like, they wanted to find guns in the car, but that's the car wasn't an even, neither me and my homie name. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, so she was like, wait, uh, she she brought the bikes back up. She like they was on bikes though, right? She's like so, where the where the car come from? Like, did y'all have permission? To, where the probable? She said, where was the probable cause for y'all to go in the car? Just because they were sitting on it, the car is not in their name. She's like, man, in fact, this case is dismissed. And Damn. Dismissed it. <laughs> what was it? Do you remember her name? Her name, Dan. What was her name? I forget her name, man. I forget her name. Yeah, I've been like the Go Home Joan or something like that. Oh, Go like Home that. Joan. Yes, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Listen, I've been, I believe it or not, probably you probably don't even believe it, but uh I had uh I've been locked up 14 times in my life. So I've been uh, very right. familiar with these moms and judges and shit. Go home Joan, yes. I know exactly who you're talking about. Uh yeah, yes, was she was known for that. She was known she's known for like looking for any technicality to throw cases out. Now, I don't know if, if it's something she got a grudge against the cops or she just got a, a thing for, uh, you know, looking out for black people or whatever. But yeah, she, she's known for, uh, you know, uh, being very precise with that type of shit. Um, I say all that to say, I had a very similar uh, type case, but mine didn't go to trial like yours did. But somebody said that we robbed them, right? Filed a statement, everything, got locked up that night by the cops. And then the person ended up uh, not, showing up to court like three three times and then they actually just dropped it but 
the police for some for some I don't know what was the difference between our cases, but the police didn't pick up like like with your case that they picked they picked it back up for some reason that that just sounds crazy maybe i don't know maybe it's the fact you was on probation or something i don't know but um all right so that is i'm guessing like uh you said you was 18 19 so what what age are we when this case is over with 19 uh when i beat that case i was 18 i wound up beating that case probably like we came home we got like remember i told you i did the 14 months I did the 14 months up Glen Mills, so I was mm-hmm. 16. I came home, like, like a little bit after, like, 18. So I was only home, like, two months. So that was, like, May when we got locked up. That was, like, May? Yeah, I was, no. Yeah, it was, like, I came home March. It was, like, March, April, like, the end of the May. We wound up beating that case in July. Like, we only sat, like, a, like, like a month and some change. We, like, it was, like, exactly two months, I think. Like a month and some change, I don't know, but we wound up beating that shit. They opened it back up like the end of August. Then we beat it again like that was like November. We've had to beat that the same like case November. twice. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So I, I'm guessing 2014. I'm just trying to get my timeline straight. Like 2014, 2015 around then? Right. That was 2014. Yeah. 2014. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So. And did anything that you can think of notable happen between them and then and uh, the, I guess last year is, is where my next segment is going to go. But anything between 2015 and 2022 that you want to talk about? Uh, fuck like, all right. So let's just say this. Let's just say this. All right. So you what, what, 2015. Um, what, what was you doing in, like around around 2015? I was just I was matter of fact. Um. That's when the rap shit first came about because my okay. homie was rapping. My man, my man Shad. Okay. My man Shad was like hot around that time. And I said that I said that in that um that song that uh when I was like Shad Shad had the city in 16, I ain't forget. Shad had the city in 16, I ain't forget. Ever heard a nigga did something to me? That's a myth. Like I, I, was, I repeated like, that line, yeah. Yeah, he was like one of the hottest, hottest young niggas like around that time, like 2015. 20 uh uh that was like 2015 2016 like that i do know that's who you're talking about by the way yeah shad 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 was like one of the hottest young that's how that's crazy though that's how i uh met the young boy Saudi. that's how i met uh Saudi. trap free Saudi. that was that was bro that was bro so how did you is that how your relationship with uh zoo gang started now you're not part of zoo gang i will uh state that clearly right now but uh, obviously, your first song was with Kwani, so we're talking around 2015. You saying is that you, you met uh, Sadi? Yeah, I, I met him through my homie Shad. Like I met like him and his homies. Like I met like I met him and, and a couple of them that still like we are today, like still to this day. And shit. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, but, uh, it's a it's a couple of niggas like this that I'm already with still to this day from meeting meeting him through my man Shad through my man Shad and. Shit. And that they was all rapping together. You feel me? I thought I wasn't rapping around that time. It was like it came, like it came about. Matter of fact, I had like one song, but it wasn't. We 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 wasn't even like on it, like on some like all right, we about to be super rapping and shit. Like especially me, you feel me? Because I wasn't even on it. Mm-hmm. I was like on some wild shit still, but I was like I was just starting to simmer down and shit like that. Because two thousand, I was a how old I how old I was. I was like I was like twenty twenty around that time, like nineteen twenty. Yeah, you know I mean? like 2015, yeah, like 2015, 16, all like. But that's when I met. That's when I met them, though. That's when I started meeting them. And shit. Feel me, like yeah, 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 yeah. So like around 20, you know, you're a grown man, obviously, but you're still a young boy. Let's be honest. Uh, people that are 20 don't have life figured out, so you're still trying to figure things out. Um, and then uh, you you. All right, so I know. That, let's just do this real quick. Now, people are gonna ask, "Yo, you said he's from 11th and Norris, but isn't NSU Shido from 11th and Norris?" But you know, Bills, he uh, he's cool with Zoo Gang. Like, how 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 does that work? Um, that like, 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 I don't really know, no, no, knowing. Like, I don't know him. Like, like, I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say he not he he not from our block, cause you feel me like it's it's people that's from our block that are standing, but like no he from the block you feel me like, but 
I don't, I ain't, I ain't had no relationship with him. You feel me? Like I don't know, cause and then it's okay. like I already. I and you're a little older than him too. So, huh? No, no, no. Go ahead. No, I, I shouldn't cut that off. Go ahead. I'm, it's like it's, it's like I when, it's like I've been, and it's like this ain't no, this ain't nothing new though. Like I've been with, I mean, like right since you like since 2014, like you said. Yeah, like you feel me? Like I've been to a lot of them. It's on 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 the other side of they tracks. You feel me? Like on the other side, I ain't Got about you. to go too much crazy on that. But of course, like the side was already picked because it's like I don't I mean I don't got no relationship with you, and I, these my homies, so it ain't like. No, that just goes just to show the intricacies of how these things work because people just automatically assume like, oh, you're from this block, so you must be cool with this person or, you know, you're from here and you like these, so you must hate this person, but it's not always like that, right? Right, right, right. That don't always be like that. And like yeah. I said, like, like I ain't, I don't know him. I don't know him. Like, that just was a regular, I'm saying, like, you could say, like, I would say, like, I wouldn't even say because I wouldn't even say it because like, all right, we different age, age groups. It, it just wasn't, he wasn't on the side. Like I was on, like he was on the other side. Like, and like, hey, y'all never crossed paths. Yeah. Yeah. Like we, I never like, you feel me? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't here even till I came home, like 2020 and shit like that. Like once I came home from my bed upstate and all that, you feel me? All right. Like, so you came, that. you came home in 2020. What, so what, what bed was that? Let's get into that a little bit. What, what, would you get locked up for, or you know, as much as you oh, want to talk was, about it? I caught like a little gun charge in like 2016. That was, yeah, that was that was 2016. I caught that gun gun case. I wound up losing that joint in the county. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I wound up losing that joint. I took a little two two to five. I had a uh, two to five. My 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 judge gave me a two and a half to five, but he took the half off because. I seven oh one the case. I know if you seven oh one the case, that's like when you were on probation, but mm -hmm. you got a new judge, but you just put the new case in front of your back judge. So basically it go like they look they look at that like it's a respect thing. So he took the six months off of the off of the two and a half to five, but that shit ain't even matter because I wound up doing three years of that five years that they you feel me that I was like sentenced to, you feel me? Okay. Like it was like I wound up doing the three years. So you went in twenty seventeen, came out twenty twenty. Go ahead. Yeah, I came home. I came home twenty like the end of the twenty nineteen. Like the I came home December first, twenty nineteen. Matter of fact, so it was like that shit went like that. But um, with that situation, uh 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 uh, I um, fuck, I was just about to say, bro, with that with that with that little jump with that situation, I came home the end of the twenty nineteen. Feel me. I would have been home in 2018, cause that's my minimum. I got locked up in 2016. The two, the two, the two to five would have been the eight. The uh, the 2018, I would have been home then. But I kept getting little hits and shit, like from um getting write ups and shit, fighting and all that type of shit in the in the jail I was at. That's how it go, yeah. Like like all that, I was getting little uh little, little hits and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, little six from, months. Um, and shit. Little six months. I ain't got like two six month hits. That was for like that was for like a year for real. For real. Yep. I ain't got two six month hits. You feel me? So I wanted to come home the end of twenty nineteen. Like yep, yep. And I was home. I was home from. I was I was home through all through that like that pandemic. That's when this when these new niggas came out. This one <laughs> this one the twenty twenty niggas came out. Like that's when I them them them. Yeah, you uh, low key pandemic. funny, bro. He said these new niggas. <laughs> Yeah, them pandemic the fucking, gangsters. The mat, yeah, the fucking ski maskers and the, uh, you yeah, know. Yep, that's the, yeah, yep. The creative the players and all that. And they, yeah. Oh, facts. <laughs> PUA gangsters. These ain't, these ain't real gangsters, man. PUA gangsters. No, that's real around rap. the time I started my YouTube channel. That's when I saw, uh, saw shit started to get real crazy, and we didn't no, have nobody, nobody talking about it. Like, not that I, like, am trying to expose business, but... You know how many people just want to know what the f is going on? Like, yo, why is, why is, you know, why is 25th and such and such? Or why is, you know, this block? Why can't I, you know, why is every night I hear something's going on over there? Or why, you know, this rapper's talking about this, this, this person's talking about that. And yeah, it's like, it's, a, it's, it's, uh, I think a big change in the way that people rap and the way that people connect with, like, especially in Philadelphia, like, uh, the way that people connect with rap music now. 
um, before you went in, it, it probably wasn't too much saying names and songs. And I noticed you don't do that. Like I noticed you don't say people who have died, who you don't say their names, but I noticed a big yeah. shift in the philosophy of doing that. Like, um, Kwani doesn't do it too much. Pounds Out Pop does it sometimes, but not too much. But I noticed there's certain that don't, that still stick to like the old rules and shit of like, you know, letting the dead be dead. Now, I hear you'll say, you'll say things like, you know, what's the name and ball and, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll right, right, say right. it so they know who you're talking about, but you don't, you're not put, you're not putting a spotlight on the beef so much, right? Because that's what right, that's right. what puts the spotlight on the beefs is the names. Because if you're just saying, you know, back foot, back wood full of what's the name? Like I don't know who you're talking about. Nobody knows who you're talking about except you and and the people that you're talking to, right? So I say right. all that to say, like, how do how do you feel about the dissing and all uh, the not dissing but dissing like the dead and all that? Like I'm not asking you to condemn it, but just literally, how do you feel about it? Like, I ain't even going to say, like, I feel like, like, me personally, I feel like I respect it. I respect it. You feel me? Like, I ain't going to be on it for no reason. Like, you got some that's doing it just because they know, like, the song will go up. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't even saying that's what them do doing for. You feel me? Because they got their own reasons. Everybody so got their different reasons. The yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? Yes. So, it I could be a, who I shot you and, 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 and did a whole. Go ahead. I ain't even about to sit here and play thorough because I'm pretty sure if a nigga say my name in the song or say any of my dead homies in the song, it's up there now. Like, that's what we're on, you feel Yes, me? yeah. Like, that's how I'm going to carry it. But I feel like, like, I ain't I ain't on that. Like, I ain't on it because ain't nobody never do it to me. Like, ain't nobody never say my name in the song. Ain't nobody never say my dead homies in the song. Gotcha. Like, none of that shit, you feel me? So it ain't like, it's like, I ain't got to do I feel like I ain't got to do it because... I ain't gotta do it. You feel what I'm saying? So like, that's go like. But how 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 do you feel about the fact that if you did do it, you know that your name would pop that much more? You don't care about that. Yeah, no effects. I know. I feel like I'm gonna get that. That's why. That's why I look at myself like, like all right, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna get this shit like do the. I ain't even about to say just go up off of that shit because you got some that do go up off it. You got some that don't because there's a lot of young in the city that be saying dead names and don't go up off of that shit. You feel me? I think with this, with this, with with, with the shift in the street shit, like, that's what is really going up off of, like, his wars be, like, real. Like, this is real. Like, this is not no, this is not no game. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the listeners know this is not no game. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? Like Philly, Philly, Philly at a standpoint where it's like this separated right now. So it's like you got motherfuckers who listen to these more than they listen to these. Did you feel me? Cause like it is like me, but I feel like like I ain't I ain't dissing the, if if he ain't dissing me, I ain't dissing the. Name, you feel me? They don't say my name. I ain't saying his name. Thorough, um, thorough. Like I like that. Like even. Yeah, like I ain't saying it, and on some real shit, I ain't saying I fuck. I, 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 like a lot of niggas be 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 on some like I'm saying his name, and I'm saying how he got cooked. I'm not on that at all. You feel me? I ain't trying. Niggas don't even dig like them homicides. They don't go away. You feel me? Like them Jones, them Jones still be there. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. There's no statute of limitations on them Jones. Yeah, ain't no statute. Them, them. I ain't speaking on no bodies, even if you mean. I feel like I'm a grown ass man. I my old heads are like not even my old heads, but niggas that's older than me that I call like big bro or big like bro. What's like where shit you on, bro? Like type like you tripping? Like you getting off? Like you feel me? Like that type shit. Good on that. Me? Good like, on that. Cause that, that you know uh, I think the more people that um, in their own way, like I had my way of saying it's not thorough. You just said it, you know in your own way that you know you're not with it. Uh, I think if more people express the fact that it's not, you know, probably the best thing for art, like not only uh, the person that's doing it or saying it because you, now you're putting a, a bigger target on your back to get killed. Right. So it's not good for their health. It's not good for the, you know, for the culture of rap and shit, because the, like we was just talking about, like the, some people do try to pop off of just saying dead names. And that's not I don't think it's just not mentally healthy for anybody. But uh, right. so I, I, have my, I have my way of saying it. You might have your way of saying it. But I think the more people who do say it, uh, I think maybe we could uh, like change. I mean, we're not going to change nothing, obviously, but we could 
like start to change some people's minds about the way they think about it. Um, all right. Uh, so I, I noticed that some people get you confused with 25th Street Billy. Do you see that a lot? Yeah, I, I don't see it like too often, but I see I seen it. I seen it probably like once or twice. I noticed it at first when you first came out, but I think people know the difference now, obviously. But when you first, like when that song with Kwani came out, uh, people were like, you know, just because, you know, obviously the name's a little bit similar. Uh, they they got it a little bit confused. But uh, so I just wanted to clear that up for everybody. Like, this is not 25th Street Bill, who is uh, unfortunately locked up right now. And, you know, but yeah, this is this is Bill from 11th Street. Crazy Bill, they call him. Um, all right, so I think we got through all the questions I wanted to ask you before we get to like present day, but I got one more question for you because I, I meant to ask you this probably an hour ago or whenever we started, like when we first started. You were talking yeah. about, we, we were talking about uh, rap, the music not being responsible for the violence, right? Like it's, it's, it's pretty much like just out, it's, it's separated from it because the violence will be happening no matter what, right? And we were talking about right. like, young boys mentalities and shit and how you you yourself you know you're not gonna be that old head that's gonna like be on that preaching shit, like you know like you know telling everybody like no oh, chill out you can't do that because you know that is you know they do things for a certain reason right so right. Uh, now i got a hypothetical for you 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 have a son correct right i got yeah all right so hypothetically your son is 17 right and he comes home right. like dad Yo, these niggas just shot at me last month. Then I just seen on YouTube they was dissing my best friend and, and my cousin and, and 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 you know you know uh, your brother's son. They they was dissing him like they was talking dirty. Like I'm ready to go kill these niggas. What what would you say to him? I tell you, like that's my that's my son. So I that's your son. Like. Listen, you gotta chill. Like we ain't, we ain't on that. Like I, I. But he's I like, try. yo, pop. What you mean we not on that? Like they, they going. I mean, everybody gonna be making fun of me and shit. Like what the? F like I can't let that shit slide. You know we can't let that. Slide. We stand on business around here, pop. Like what you mean? I'm ready to do that right. time. I'm ready to do it. Right, right. I'm gonna sit him down. I'm gonna sit him down and like really like, like try to tell him like bro that that ain't that ain't that ain't the way like that that ain't the way little bro like that's not you feel me and you my son like i ain't about to like you supposed to bury me i ain't trying to bury you you feel me like so um that so just, uh, now like yeah a lot of parents are faced with that situation today and i don't know what the answer to tell um, them is you know what i mean um i mean that would you that's that's probably the best thing at that moment you can do like obviously you would say more than that but like i think yeah that's that's probably a good answer because you know like i think about all the time you know raising my son in philly i'm trying getting the fuck up out of here but you know he's gonna have influences outside of me that you know i could be the best parent in the world but he's gonna go to school he's gonna have friends they might be into whatever i don't know what they parents is like and shit so uh, people so quick to blame the parents all the time, but like it's 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 it, this city is really uh is is scattered and it's really hard to raise raise children here, man. Um and and parents are faced with these decisions every day, and it it's like I just I was just interested in like how you would deal with that situation because there's some that just be like yo go handle your business son like you know it is what like it is what it is like go not in those words but they would pretty much give them the signal like it's all right go ahead like you mean i can't stop you they, you mean go just be safe make sure you get you mean and i don't know i was just curious on your thoughts on that all right so um boom let's go to 2022 right this is the first time i ever heard of bill from 11th street you dropped a song with kwani that song got damn near a million views right now um how did that come about like how did that you know video come about how that whole process go and like, oh, oh well, and first just what like how did you meet Kwani and like maybe you could start from there and then get into the next question um uh, I met I met Kwani in like in 2014 like 2014 that's when I first came home from like uh I came home from placement and it was like these these uh 
these girls from like Nice Town, from like like the Nice Town part of the city, they was having like a big pajama party and all that. And that was like the first time I met Kwani. We was all there. It was like it was like snowing outside. It was like it was either snow or snow on the ground outside. But I know that's the first time I met Kwani. I was with my man. Uh, I was with my man Sha and a couple of my homies. We was all like he was with his homies, like whoever he was with. And we was all like, it wasn't like no bad like vibes and all. Everybody just was together, like, like on that, like motherfuckers just was together, uh, like with the bitches. But that's how I, I met him in 2014. Feel me? That's that around that time. But uh, how the song came about? It's crazy because the we wasn't even supposed to do that song. Like, like that was on some like I was. Every time Kwani goes to the stool, like I like some studio sessions, I I go with him. You feel me? Like I go with him, shit like that. You feel me? Uh, like just little like little support. Shit. Not like nothing crazy. Like I ain't never get no money to no stool sessions, none of that. Shit. But it was like little. Shit, you feel me? Like I just go. Maybe me going to the studio with him, like you feel me? Like that type. Shit, you feel me? But I sometimes I go with him. But yeah. uh, yes. He 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 had he was talking to me and shit. he was like he was like yo bro, I ain't gonna lie you be like you be supporting like a lot of the little shit I be doing like me uh 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 um so like, he was real appreciative of your support right yeah right 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 so he was we he wasn't even supposed to rap because like I ain't even I wasn't even mad at him for not rapping because the, him he was going through personal shit. Yeah. yeah, he was. It was some personal shit going on with 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 with, with, with uh my man from the block. Ba had just passed away and shit. Ba had gotcha. passed away. Gotcha. You feel me? Um, so that was like a day or two before me and him just went to the stool. It was just me, and him, my cousin, and my man Reem. My man Reem from our block and shit. We was all sitting down. I had laid the verse down, my verse and shit. And uh, he had gave me like a pointer on like how to say it. Like he was like. No, bro, say it like this. Like, you rapping it too fast. Like, he was like, say it like this. You feel me? And I said it like, 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 you mean like the little, because I feel like Philly got their own sound now. You feel me? So it was like the little Philly sound. Like, I felt like my, like, like, I felt like it was a Philly sound, but I still got my own distinctive, distinctive sound, sound too. You feel me? So he was like, say it like this. But once I laid, he was like, no, bro, matter of fact, I'm going to get on that drum. Then he hop on that joint, he run that joint, boom. I know, I know you, I know they, I know you like that, cause yeah, a Kwani co sign out here, bro, is that that's 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 major. No bullshit, that was bullshit, and that's when bro was like coming, like he was on a, he was on a, that's when he was like on a rise, you feel me? Like he was, he had the city, like this is this when he had the city in Choco for real, for real. They, yeah. They, 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 him and and they get them, they had the city, they got the city right now. I ain't. Yeah, shout lie. out to them, bro. They they doing their thing, real. Shit. I can't, even, I can't even be mad at it. Go ahead. So the um the, the, um he sit me down at the at the we later, John. He like listen. He like listen. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some thorough. Shit. He like look. He's like we gonna shoot the vid. Once we shoot the vid, right? We gonna put the song on your YouTube channel. Once we put it on your YouTube channel, the your subscribers and all that shit gonna blow up. He be he was like. People be thinking you need a million views to get paid off YouTube. No, you don't. All you need is a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of watch hours to get paid off. This shit, you feel me? So he told me that. I'm like, damn, bet that's a that's a that's a go. You feel me? But like I said, uh, around the time this was around the time, bro was like bubbling, like moving around, like he was. This is when he like first start, like getting getting like crazy, like moving around and shit like that. You feel me? So. He was like, um, one day he was like, he was like real busy though. He was like real busy, like with shooting the vid. So one day he was like, yo, listen, bro, bring your cameraman down here. I'm shooting the vid already. Him and Bora was just shooting that Dior Dior video. Okay. But my camera, they, they had the skeet in them and then in that joint, like they was in that joint shooting. So my cameraman came in and he shot the vid. We, we shot like a scene. It, that was only supposed to be one scene. We supposed to finished getting some more but Kwani was like so busy he was on the note like he like one day he just told me like bro look you might gotta drop that joint like how it is bro because people people start leaking a song and all that shit. i'm so i'm it's I'm Yo, how did that, that work bro how did that work to, to just to, to, let's put a pause on the story real quick because like i said i'll be forgetting questions and shit. 
How do the leaking shit work? Like who like who is the most likely person to leak a song? That leaking shit, it don't even I wouldn't even say like it be your homies. Like your homie might send it to him he cool with. Then the person he cool with gonna send it to. And then that's just getting the wrong hands sometimes, you feel me? And once they get in the wrong hands, these little young niggas, they be knowing like they they can make money off that shit. They make like yeah. twenty dollars off that shit. But yeah. That shit, oh, yeah. Go, go a long way to them, you feel me? So they leak your shit, put it on YouTube, or motherfuckers might think like, all right, look, this shit. It was a page, bro. The page kept leaking all the Kwani music, bro. He had the song before we even dropped it. Like one of them unreleased drums. It's like a, bro, it's probably them, like twenty of them drums, bro. They had a YouTube, bro. The was getting paid off. Of, I don't know. I ain't gonna say boy was getting paid off Kwani, but. Bull had all Kwani songs all his John, dog, real shit. Yeah. Bull Page just got deleted or some shit. Like, his YouTube got deleted. All that <laughs> shit came off of there, you feel me? But Cuz was going up off of that shit. No bullshit, yo. I know Kwani was mad as shit. I wasn't like that shit. That shit had me mad as shit, bro. If somehow some people was getting a hold of my videos and just leaking them John. I, bro, I'd be right I'd be right to kill it. I swear to God, bro. Oh, real shit? <laughs> This is, I think we working hard for this shit. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, but all uh, right. So, all right. So, somebody leaked the joint. Go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody leaked this. So I'm like, damn, this shit ain't even gonna go up. I lost faith in that joint. No bullshit. <laughs> right. So, I lost faith in that joint. So, um, somebody leaked this. Shit. But we want he like, listen, bro. You might as well just drop that shit like it is. So I just wound up dropping that shit. Right. No bullshit. Like the first three days, that shit was going up every day. I'm like, damn, this John rolling. You feel me? Then I'm, 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 my confidence going up because it's like, like I see the comments, motherfuckers, like, yo, Kwani ran this John, but whoever cuz is uh, crazy Bill, he running this John. You feel me? Like that shit was like boosting my confidence a little bit. You feel me? So I'm like, damn, I'm gonna start taking this shit serious. I'm gonna take this shit like way more serious. You feel me? But at that time, uh, 2022, I ain't. Like that year, no bullshit. That was the year. Like I was like, I was fucked up. But you know that mute that rap shit caused money. You feel me? So I'm on to know like, like I ain't, I wasn't really like on that shit, like how I was supposed to, supposed to. You feel me? Because I caught another case in 2021 of some rap shit. You feel me? Like one of my videos, one of my videos, I wound up um, I I was on I was on probation. I was on probation. I wound up, uh, one of my, my PO seen a video of me holding a gun. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right there, hold on, hold on. So I, 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 uh, I, I saw the video with Kwani, right? And then I did, I was, I searched out more songs of yours. And what, what was the name of this song? It was, it was, it was, it was spazzing, but it was, it was a, I, I changed the name on it. It was spazzing, but it used to be called something not different. up there no more. Like it ain't up there. You feel me? That I took that joint down. Oh, so you named another song I "Spazzing." Like, this, this, I feel like this. Right, right. Okay, okay. So the original song uh, called "Spazzing." The video was up. You was on probation already, right? Right. And this was after the Quanti joint came was, out. Uh, All right. No, no. This was before. This was before. You feel me? When I did oh, the you... joint with Quanti, I was out on bail. Okay, okay, got you. All right, all right. But so this video "Spazzing" was... you had already did before the song with Quanti. Right, right, right. Okay, yes. all right, all right, got you. All right, so I'm just trying to set the stage for everybody so they, you know, uh, you know, can uh, keep up with what we're talking about. All right, so go ahead. All right, so uh, this was like, this was February, February 25th, 2021. Gotcha. I wound up, uh, my PO come to my crib. They was just coming to violate me. They was coming to violate me, like, on a regular, like, all right, we seen a picture of you holding a fire on. We just, you about to... We just about to probably give you a six month hit the whole time. I had a I had I had a gun on me. I had a I had a gun on me the whole time. So when they searched me, they found the gun. So now I caught a new case on top of the like they ain't they ain't they ain't even like violate me though. That's the crazy part. They just I just caught a new case. So now So you ain't I have a detainer. County, my bell yeah, I had a detainer because I'm on I'm on state parole. You feel me? Got you. So uh my um, what the f happened? Oh, I catch the uh, 
I'm I'm on a two hundred thousand dollar bill, the ten percent twenty. So I got to the county. I'm on a I'm on like the kitchen block. I'm on the kitchen block where it's like a little, you know, you know how you know how the kitchen block is. That's like a little easy because you dealing with like the outside people that's that work for Airmark and shit. You feel right. me? Yeah. So at first I ain't I ain't had no job or none of that shit. So I was like trying to finesse. I was like talking to the CEOs, like, look, I can't get no job. Like I wanna be a block worker and all that. I do some finesse and shit, right? Mm-hmm. I ripped the names down off of the off of the uh the block rep just left, right? When I got there, I ripped his name down, wrote my name on the car, and take that shit to the CO desk. So when the COs used to come on the block, they used to just hit my door and was like, You the block rep? I'm like, Yeah. So I finessed, I finessed my little, you mean? I finessed the little play. So um <laughs> um uh uh so now I'm block working. So now you know, you know how the, you know how that county shit go. I'm finessing, yeah. figuring it out. I mean, I wound up getting a little hold on, like, 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 med, like special meds. You know, to be withdrawn off the perks or the dope and all that. Okay. You know, getting like uh, get, this was um, like getting the boxes and shit. So I used to like had the boxes and other little shit. I ain't gonna go too much into like details. Well, yeah, because no, because on the one song you had said, uh, you had said something like, uh, you know, I ran up 20 off a of special meds or something like that. And I and, and I had yeah, said yeah. in the video, like, what do you mean by that? Right. And now you clarifying right. that for me. That, that's good. All right. So that's what you was talking. OK. OK. Well, right, you right, don't right, got to go right. too much in there. I think niggas know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, fix, fix, fix. But it was other little shit I had going on. I was making plays and I wound up making like 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 15 grand, 15. It was 15. 15 exactly, like 15 grand exactly. Don't and call it 20. And call my call my call my homies and told them like, yo, listen, I need another little five bands from y'all niggas to so I can like bill out. So oh, there I you sat go. in the county. I sat in the county for like a little six to six months. On my sixth month exactly is when my probation was over. So my detainer lifted. I bailed out. So now I was that was from February twenty fifth all the way to September seventh. Like September seventh, right? So now that money's yours. Yeah, look. So I bail out, but I, I bail out, but uh, I'm still fighting the case. But they, my, they, they had offered me a four to eight because of my points. You feel me? Mm. They offered me four to eight. Uh, my, the lawyer I had was trying to get me to like. He was like, "Well, you did had it, the firearm and all that. Um, I feel like you should take. That's why I don't ever tell lawyers the truth because when they know the truth." They don't fight as hard as if 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 you didn't do this. They don't think you feel what I'm saying. Facts, like, no. Nah, for the people in the back, so, say that one more so, time, bro. I never tell a lawyer the truth because if a lawyer know you did something, they not gonna fight as hard as they supposed to. You feel Facts. me? Facts. You feel me? Like so, I never tell a lawyer the truth, and it's so crazy, right? I wanted to fire, and it was probably like thirty five. 3,500 in with the 3,500 in. So I'm like, all right, that. So I'm looking around. I'm like, man, I'm like, damn, the lawyer that's good with the gun cases, like that's out here, like in Philly is Shaga. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me go holler at Shaga. (laughs) So I'm talking to Shaga. Shout out to Shaga. He like, he like, like, you already passed trial. So I'm going to charge you like 15 grand. You feel me? I'm like, all right, that's about nothing. I just signed my bail receipt over to the, you feel me? Okay. I signed my I signed my bail receipt. That's another thing. Like, I don't know in other cities if you can do that, but in Philly, if you bail out and you ain't got the cash and none of that shit, you can sign your money over to your lawyer because even if whether you lose or win, you get the money back. The 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 money that the court get from you bailing out is just your promissory note that's saying that you're gonna come to court. Basically, that's all right. it is. Right. You feel me? Cause if you don't come to court, they just keep the shit. But if you come to court, whether you lose or not, they keep like thirty percent. I think I don't know, but um, I wind up. So I'm telling Shaka, but I lied to Shaka. I'm like, listen, man, like that wasn't me holding that, holding that gun, man. That that video was old. Like I'm, I'm telling Shaka, I'm bro. The, the video I shot that video in 2020. I told Shaka that video was. From, in 2017, 2016, before I got on probation, like before I ever was like thought of of getting on probation for a gun, you feel me? Okay. So, 
Saka like, all right, bet. So he rumbling, he rumbling. He like, yo, you sure, you sure this is? I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, that wasn't me. I'm lying though. He fighting hard as shit. Bro, they come, they come to court with the video of me and all that shit, but they don't got the timestamp on it, right? So my cameraman who I got to make that video, I got him to put on the video that this video was made in 2016. All the guns in this video is props provided by management. You feel me? Whole time it's a lie. I, be, I shot that video in 2019. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm at 2020. I shot it in 2020, but I made it look like it was 2016 from the the uh the illustration when they first come on, like the all editing right. and all. Can that. I ask a question? Can I ask yeah. a question. Did you do? When did you tell you? When did you tell Bo to do that? Like before y'all uploaded the video to YouTube? No, I told that. I, I took the video down off of YouTube, sent it back to the nigga, paid the nigga to edit that shit and say it was me. And the 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 first couple weeks I was home, I was thinking this shit. I'm like, damn, how I'm gonna beat this shit? I'm like, man, fact, I'm gonna do it like this. I I took it down off of YouTube. I sent it to the nigga, the nigga edited it, and said this video was made in 2016. That's how I beat that shit. Damn. All right. So I, I'm going to ask you, maybe I'll ask you off camera but some more questions about that because I do got a couple of questions. But all right. So um, it, so that happens. And, and so did you, this went to trial, right? Yeah, this was like, this was like, yeah, this was in trial. This was trial. Be that's here in trial. This is a judge trial. Yeah. Yep. All right. So 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 the prosecutors, did they. How did they present the evidence? They did they already had a video downloaded, or did they ask y'all to hand them the video? No, they ain't asked us nothing. They had a picture. They it was uh, a screenshot of the video. Okay, they okay, had, okay. They ain't even had a video. It was a rapper. They just right. thought like this was just a regular picture. You feel me? Because it was the way it was screenshotted. You feel what I'm saying? They didn't know it was a video. On, if they knew it was a video on YouTube, I would have been fried. Like if they would have had. Got it, you. Like, so they got this from your gram. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And it was a picture of the video. Got you, got you, got you. Because that's what right, I that's right. that's what I was curious about. Like, yo, if it was a video, wouldn't they have downloaded it already and had it and then right. presented that as evidence? But you saying it was just a picture. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah, it was just a Perfect. picture. They would have if, if got it was you. that way. They would they would have had me. They would have had. Okay, me. that that's me. what I was confused of in my head. Like I, when you was right, telling, right, okay, right. got you, got you. All right, thank you for clarifying that. Perfect. All right, boom. And then all right, so damn. All right, so that happened. Then you then you came. Then so all that happened. Then you did the song with Kwani, right? Oh uh, yeah, all that happened. Then probably like I beat that case in like November. Me and Kwani did that song in like these. Oh no, matter of fact, I'm lying. Me and Kwani did that song in December. I just dropped it in like March. We recorded that song like December. I just dropped that shit in March. Got yeah. you right because you was trying to shoot that second part. And uh, yeah, yeah, got you, got you, got you. All right. right. All right, so Kwani actually gave you the uh, golden ticket for YouTube, right? So yeah, fact, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm like let's just speak facts, right, right, right. Uh, shout out to him for that. But from here on, from here on, uh, let me ask you a couple questions about what you're planning on doing and like what we gonna do next. Um, do you know how profitable YouTube is? I don't, I, I, I be seeing like certain people like post like, like I don't be seeing like most post like what they actually got, but I be seeing like most post like, like yeah, I'm pro I'm like making money off of YouTube for real, yeah. All right, so put it like this, um, you can make, let's say, all right, let's say, do you got a cameraman? Yeah, I got a cameraman. All right, let's say you put out <clears throat> two videos a month, right? Let's just say two. Um, no, that probably won't be enough. Well, if you do it for long enough, so if you have like a two year plan or something, you could probably make one hundred fifty, maybe two hundred thousand dollars off YouTube if you do it like consistently. If you if you say like, all right, my plan is to to make music, and that's what I'm going, you know, dedicate my next you know couple years to. You can make a couple hundred thousand off YouTube. Um, now if you, if you're pop, so let me, uh, now here's another question. Now you just got to, uh, a uh, thousand subscribers. Did they green light all your videos? Cause I don't know how they treat music videos. I know with regular YouTube videos, it's like the cursing, they don't like that. And sometimes it'll give you to demonetize, but I heard with music, it's a little different. Did, is all your videos green? Yeah, they, I, I got, that's crazy. Cause I'm, I'm a, 
probably off camera, I probably get with you about this because I just was looking at an email that said like I can apply now to be partners with YouTube, but when I hit the apply, it don't even be letting me hit it. I don't know if it's because I be doing it on my phone or I gotta do it on a computer. Yeah, you got. Oh yeah, well, I'll tell you exactly what you gotta do after 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 the fact. I got you. Um, all right. So so, uh, yes, you can make a lot of money off YouTube. Uh, you just gotta you just gotta be consistent and dedicate a little time to it. Um, other than that, um, with rap are you oh so here's a question i have for you so you remember that I, I probably said it to you before and i think i said it in my live video that uh that three rhyme that three word rhyme structure right you know what i'm talking about right is that something you consciously thought about or is that just the way you read no that's just happening i ain't gonna lie got like, you this was like a like i be trying to make when i when I rap, I don't even be, all I think about is just popping shit. Like that. I don't be thinking about, like, how I'm a word, certain shit. No, I just be thinking, like, all right, I'm going to pop the most shit, but I'm going to try to make it rhyme and make the most sense. That's it. I don't okay. really be trying to, like, do all, like, the word thing. But I, I be peeping, like, you you hit on that, like, with, like, a couple of the, my songs and shit. Yeah. And I did that. But, yeah. And you, yeah. you saying that's not even on purpose? That's not even, no, no. I, no that so, even, no, so what that shows me is that you have a, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, it's like an X factor. I I can't think of the word. Um, you're in, you so you have uh here's the word. You're intuitive, right? That that's the word. Okay, you have a, a music intuition, right? You might not even realize it. You have a rap intuition. So what I'm saying is, if you take it seriously, I think that you could. Um, I'm not saying I'm not trying to gas you and say you're gonna be the next major superstar, but you can make a career out of rap. Uh, pretty pretty effortless, effortlessly, I think. Uh, how do you how do you feel about that? Is that your plans or what's 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 your what's your next moves? Yeah, that's that's my plan. Like my plan is like, like I'm gonna take this shit like way more serious than I've been taking it. I'm trying like at least drop like, like my my plan was like, like I told my homie like, listen, I'm about to drop every two weeks. Like I'm gonna try to drop if I can. I'm going to try to drop every two weeks, like, just so I can, like, put this shit in their face. Like, no, Crazy Bill dropping. And when he do drop, that shit don't be, like, as mid or nothing. Like, that should be, like, what we want here. You feel me? Because I ain't really, I'm really trying. Yeah, I'm I'm on that right now. I ain't okay. going to I'm on that. Well, you got plenty of examples around you of how it can work. So, uh, just pay attention to what, what the winners do to win. And, you know, yeah. You are. Right, I'm, right, I'm right, not right. telling you nothing you don't know. I'm just, you know, I, 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 I have a, uh, I'm outside of it, so I have a like a, a, a bigger, big, bigger picture view, I guess. But I don't see anything that you don't see. So, and you probably see way more than me. So, I mean, you know the deal. But I, I, I do um, wish you all the success. Like, I, I honestly, uh, out of every, like, out of a lot, there's a lot of people in Philly I listen to. But when you uh, can identify, like, when actually got talent and when they don't uh it's kind of exciting to see what they can do and shit. so i i am looking forward to what what comes next and shit. um and i hope you i hope you stick to that if you if you i'm telling you if you do that if you drop two video if you drop a video every two weeks uh let's say for the next six months uh i bet you, you you'll see the response i bet I, I i can almost guarantee it bro uh you got the skill so that's not the question it's just like i said consistency and and how uh motivated i guess are you and how, how serious you take it but look look at uh mm -hmm. look at duel bro you think you think um you think it's about his i'm not saying he can't rap but do you think it's about his talent really it's not like you know I mean like he uh he was consistent bro and he just uh, there's a lot of other shit going on around without speaking about none of the other shit, just music wise he was consistent and um just stuck with it bro like he just just did not like people hated him at first i'm telling you when duel first came out there was the young boys the real young boys who thought you know it was funny and all that shit, but is really did not like the way duel rapped and none of that but he was persevering and all that shit, da, 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 da. But I'm just saying, like, um, consistency. I'm just using him as, as an example because of the consistency. That's all I'm trying to say. And he didn't get locked up. That's another thing. That's another. That's right. another major thing. You know what I mean? Um, no. Uh, is 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 all your is all your um like legal behind you? 
Yeah, that's okay. Behind me. I'm off probation. I beat my case all like, yeah, all that shit behind me. Okay, I'm a free man right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it that way. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. I, I love it. I love to hear that. Um, all right. I think I think that's my last question. I don't think I got nothing else to ask. I don't think. Um, let me check my notes. Hold on. Oh, I actually do got a question. Do you like the attention that you've been getting or that you've received so far? Yeah, like so far, yeah. Like, it ain't really been too much. I don't feel like, but I feel like, like I'm starting to, starting to like. I be here. I be. It, it be like motherfuckers from like in the city, mm-hmm. like inner city of like out the city. Like motherfuckers be getting. Yo, you gotta drop more. Like mm-hmm. the YouTube comments like motivate me the most though. Like. Cause I ain't, I always see like good shit on there, like. Shows, yeah, so. yeah. Even yeah, under my so video, I, it's just, like it's been cool. Okay, no, yeah. Even under the video, I, I, I made about like, uh, I guess I was a, a live stream I did, and I had I reviewed a couple of your songs, and under that, it was people, you know, commenting, uh, you know, that they they fucked with you, and so, yeah. I was just right. curious as that, like, cause me growing up, I. I was obviously I wasn't a rapper, and sh- so I don't know what that attention is like. Like you're now starting to, uh, you know, you got a song with almost a million views on YouTube with Kwani, who's like one of the uh, people he just performed at Powerhouse. He's one of the biggest names in the city in terms of rap. Like everybody who who raps knows him. So, you know, having a song with him, I could only imagine you're getting attention from places that you've never gotten it from from before. And it sounds like you're taking it in a stride. That's what's up. That's what's up. You're humble and you're real. And yeah, those those are good good things going for you. Facts. Facts. Um, all right, bro. Uh it's about to be it's about to be that time. Um I'm gonna stop the interview, but I do got one I like I wanna talk to you for a second. So I'm I'm gonna just stop the joint real quick. <laughs> 